Welcome. In front of me is a Lenovo Tab E7, and today I'll show you how to go through the setup process of the tablet. So, once you put it up for the first time, you'll be presented with the welcome screen that you can see oh, right over here, although in a different language. And all you need to do is start off by changing the language, which I'm going to select English for obvious reasons. And let's press on start to get to the second page. Now it looks like this uh, tablet right here is an LTE version, so I could insert a SIM card, uh, but uh, honestly I'm just not going to bother. Uh, the moment you insert a SIM card it will work as it should, so that step is basically useless. But on the next page we do have a more useful step, which is the Wi-Fi connection. And here you can connect to your Wi-Fi, assuming you have one. If you don't, don't worry, you can skip it. By skipping it you will lose the option to log into your Google account and uh, date and time will need to be set manually instead of being set automatically. Uh, but other than that, you can still later on log into your Google account and connect to Wi-Fi after the setup is complete. But instead of it being provided neatly in the sequence as it is right here, you will have to find it in the settings. And like I said, there's the date and time, which you would normally have to uh, or in this case we have to set it uh, manually but if you connect it to Wi-Fi I believe it just uh, skips the step altogether. Now next page is the name page so here you can basically name how uh, or name your device and honestly it doesn't really have much impact uh, if you choose to leave it empty it will be named uh, by the actual model of the device so the name will be something like a Lenovo Tab V7 or something along those lines. Um, but if you choose to name it yourself, then things like uh, Bluetooth devices and uh, what else is there? I'll just stick with just Bluetooth devices for now. Or, or I think also mobile, uh, a mobile network back hotspot uh, will have the name that you provide right here in terms of like visibility. So if you create a hotspot, uh, you will be looking for a Wi-Fi name that you have provided right here. So I'm going to leave it empty. Then we have protect your tablet. So here you can set up a protection, obviously. Uh, that'd be pin, pattern, password, or not now, which will just allow us to skip this step altogether, which that's what I'm going to go for. And here we have Google services. So we can tap on the tiny little arrow right here to read exactly what you're agreeing to. Uh, we have things like uh, location, scanning, and send user and diagnostic data. Now, basically all of them are data gathering options uh, plus some beneficial for you uh, but let's be honest i'm pretty sure its primary function is data gathering especially the send user and diagnostic data um, but if you don't want them you can disable them uh, now how disabled they stay uh, that is something that i have no idea but yeah once you disable them you can tap on accept and this will take you to the lenovo id why is this here and what's the reason for it? I have no clue. Uh, it just seems like some kind of trash on here. Create a Lenovo ID to uh, receive personalized experience. Um, personalized experience uh, seems a lot like personalized ads, which, you know, I'll, I, I think I'll just skip this one. Again, license and agreement from Lenovo. Uh, so you can read it if you're interested. Obviously, you do have to accept it at the end of the day. Uh, they have Lenovo user experience program, so you can sign up to it or not. Uh, read, you can read it what it exactly offers by tapping on the blue text right here, but I'm not really interested. And we should be right about done with the setup. Oh, there we go. So that is how you could go through the setup of this tablet. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.